Good evening. My name is Kelly Robinson, and I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of South Middle School's class of 2020. I know I speak for all of us in saying that we're excited tonight to celebrate our three years of hard work and commitment to our education at South. On behalf of our entire class, I would like to extend our gratitude to all of our teachers for guiding us through this three years of middle school. Next, I'd like to recognize several distinguished guests this evening. District 65 Superintendent Dr. Lori Vine, South Principal Dr. Jim Morrison, and Associate Principals Mr. Steve Perkins and Ms. Sherry Rosen. Thank you for your support and leadership. I would also like to recognize and thank District 25 School Board President Brian Cernaglia and Board Members Anisha Ismael Patel, Chad Conley, Dave Page, Aaron Johannesson, Rich Olichinek, and Scott Philippe. We appreciate your time, dedication, and hard work that makes District 25 an amazing district. And a special thank you goes to Ms. Deb DiMaggio, Ms. Katie Paulson, Mr. Adam Harris, and Mr. Paul Rafe for creating this video. Now, please recognize the Pledge of Allegiance presented by South Student Council Board. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the national anthem. Imagine that you are painting a picture. The moment that you dab the first strokes of paint onto the canvas, there is no going back. Like it or not, that paint cannot be erased. And once you have decided to try and make a piece of artwork, you can't just walk away from it. To me, our time at South was a bit like painting a picture. From the instant that we walked into the looming gray double doors, we had begun to decorate the canvas that is our middle school years. Every choice that we made became a permanent rendition in the minds of our friends, teachers, and classmates. In sixth grade, we used timid, gentle strokes, unsure of what to do next. This new project we had taken on seemed like a massive undertaking and could even be frightening at times. Our only hope was to try and keep our wits about us as we faced new experiences in every direction. But. By the end of the first year, we had more certainty. We knew where we were headed, and we knew where we belonged. The rough draft of our artwork was now completed. As our time at SMS progressed, there were countless opportunities to leave an impression. Great teachers, new friendships, and more helped to add lovely touches to our paintings, and our simple artwork started to become something beautiful. In seventh grade, everything from a bonding field trip to Laredo Taft to racing rubber band cars down the hallway made its mark on our impressive works of art. Seventh grade was truly a year of discovery as we sought to find out what an ideal end product for our artworks would be. Which activities should we prioritize? What pathways did we want to pursue in high school? The possibilities were endless. Eighth grade brought new excitements as we faced a year of being at the top of the food chain. Or at least, that's what we thought. By this time, our canvases were filling up as our minds filled with knowledge on everything from climate change to European geography. Of course, 
Things couldn't always be sunshine and rainbows. Embarrassing moments, arguments, and insecurities may have added unwelcome blobs of goopy paint where they didn't belong. And at the moment, our mistakes may have seemed like they had ruined our entire artwork. Things like the mysterious lasagna roll-ups being served in the cafeteria became memories we would rather forget. And finally, what should have been the pinnacle of our middle school career, a time filled with celebrations and ceremonies that some of us had looked forward to for years, was abruptly cut short as a global pandemic beyond our control seized the paintbrush from our hands. But we have proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that our graduating class is bigger than a pandemic. We have commandeered this learning experience that is completely unprecedented with our heads held high. And now, as our time itself comes to a close, we invite you to step back and take a look at the gallery of artworks here before you. Because I am sure that no matter what happens along the way, each and every one of them is a masterpiece. Thank you. Change, it's something that everyone has experienced at some point in their lives. Sometimes it's joyous, other times it hurts. My time here at South Middle School has taught me that you shouldn't fear change because even if it's painful at first, change will often positively impact you at some point. Even if it hurts, it can make you wiser and stronger. Accepting change is very important because change is part of life. I want to share a time when I had to accept change and how it impacted me. I was about to enter middle school for the first time. I felt like how most of us did, excited but also nervous. We didn't know what the next three years of our lives would have to offer, but by accepting the change we opened so many new doors to new knowledge gained, new friendships made and better self-esteem and confidence. If we had run away from the changes, we wouldn't be the people we are today. We created our own futures and made them great. As Abraham Lincoln said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Of course, we had some help along the way. Who am I kidding? We had so much help along the way. I give a bajillion thanks to all the staff, faculty, teachers, and fellow students who have made our South experiences ones we will always remember. From day one, this school is provided a positive, encouraging, and welcoming environment where we can feel at home. Well, a few blocks from home, but that's not the point. With every challenge that we faced, we knew we could put our trust in self to help us. If we were ever worried about a test, we could talk to a social worker. If we dropped a binder in the hallway, a student passing by would pick it up. The front desk was even able to help me find a missing science project. It's true that everybody needs someone to lean on. So it's really cool that we have a thousand members of our South family that we can lean on. Thank you. Thank you for helping us, but also thank you for allowing us to struggle. Because it's through times of struggle that we really grew as people. The pandemic we're currently suffering from is a good example. Everyone, including myself, has been forced to adapt to and accept various changes. Not going to school is a big one for many of us. We continue to miss seeing our friends and teachers in person every day. Not being able to go to parties or dine in at restaurants was also a bummer. Life threw us some pretty sour lemons, but we turned it into sweet lemonade. We're doing lots of 
new activities that we never thought we would do, such as attending Zoom calls and curbside gown pickup. We accepted these changes and made them positive. I would advise to all of you, when you are faced with changes in your life, to accept them and find ways to make the best of them. I hope that by doing this, you'll develop an optimistic view on life. We can all start today, right this very minute, by choosing how we look at our time in quarantine. The choice is yours, so choose wisely. to middle school on the first day seemed simple enough. I thought all I had to do was find my class, pick a seat, and take notes and tests for the rest of the school year. Little did I know I was boarding one of the biggest roller coaster rides of my life. The ride began when I walked through the doors of South Middle School. The ride was smooth at first, but eventually there were ups and downs and even some unexpected turns. Even though we were all on the same roller coaster, not everyone's ride through middle school is the same. But now, all of our rides are coming to an end. This year, our student council began a project to honor South Cardinals who went on to achieve their dream. Since our year took an unusual turn, so has our project. Tonight, you will hear from one of the accomplished alums we had hoped to honor. You may know her from her roles in House, Star Trek, Once Upon a Time, or This Is Us. Thank you, Jennifer Morrison, for taking out the time to talk to our graduating class. Hi, I'm Jennifer Morrison, and I graduated from South Middle School in 1993. Um, I know that it's a little bit of a weird year, and everything's different, um, and that you guys won't be able to be at a ceremony for your graduation. And I was thinking about that, and I thought, you know, when I think back on my graduations, junior high, and high school, and college, um, I don't really remember them. <laughs> I don't remember who spoke. Um, I, don't, I don't remember a ton about them. I remember my years in junior high. I remember my years in high school. I remember my friendships. I remember my great teachers. I remember the plays that I was in. I remember all of these amazing experiences. Um, so I guess I'm just saying this to encourage you guys not to be bummed out that it's a little different this year because the truth is, under these circumstances, 
you will always remember this moment. It is very unusual. It is hopefully one of a kind in our lifetime. Um, and when you look back and you talk about when you graduated from South Middle School in 2020, you will think about the fact that it was unique and it was different and it was exceptional. So um, I'm encouraging you to see the, um, the brighter side of an odd circumstance and just know that you have so many wonderful memories ahead. You have so many exciting moments ahead and you guys are a part of the generation that's going to change the world and make it a better place. So thank you guys for being brave and for being courageous and for facing this time with so much courage. All right, good luck with everything, best wishes. To remember is to believe in yourself and you can accomplish much more. Class of 2020, thank you and congratulations. But don't forget that we are all unique people that have been given something special. There's only one of each of us, and knowing that gives us more power and abilities. Congratulations, graduates, families, friends, and staff. I'm thrilled to be here with you today as we celebrate the graduating class of 2020. Graduates, congratulations. Today signifies that you have established a solid foundation in your education. Your District 25 teachers and your families have given you their absolute best, so your foundation is strong. Today signifies that you are ready to build on that strong foundation. And what each of you builds will be and should be different from anyone else. It is important to acknowledge that this worldwide pandemic has paused your life as you knew it. But do not let it stop you. You are stronger. Commit to your education more purposefully Take advantage of everything that is presented to you. Decide what you want to learn and who you want to be. And be assertive in making the choices that will get you there. At the same time, be compassionate towards others. Care for each other. Celebrate each other. Graduates, you are about to enter your freshman year in one of the most highly respected school districts in our nation. District 214 has everything to offer you, academically, physically, and socially. Choose your own path. Choose the activities that interest you. Invest your efforts in the areas that you will enjoy. 
class of 2020, your teachers and I look forward to seeing what you build. You have the best of us in your foundation. Go build the very best of yourselves. We will be watching and feeling very proud. Congratulations. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you'd fall and no one would hear? Well, that lonely feeling wash away Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand crashing through when you need a friend to carry you and when you're broken on the ground you will be found so let the sun come streaming in cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again lift your head and look around you will be found you will be found
charge for what you believe in. School gives us opportunities that we are so fortunate to have. School shows you that life can throw curveballs. And lastly, school prepares you for life. At this time, we would like to take a moment and acknowledge the students who received the President's Award for Educational Excellence. We honor those students who maintained a 3.5 GPA or above during their time at South. The students who received a 3.5 GPA will be receiving a certificate and they have been given a gold cord to honor this amazing achievement. Congratulations. We would also like to take, take a moment to honor our students who received a 4.0 cumulative GPA during their time at South. These students will be honored with a certificate, a gold cord, and will also receive a special crystal award. Here are the names of all of our 4.0 students. Congratulations. The next awards we will be presenting are our South Graduation Traditions, and they were decided upon by the staff and our eighth grade graduating class. The first award we are going to present is the P Peterson Spirit Award. The Peterson Spirit Award is given to one eighth grade student on each team. This student, in the opinion of the staff, has demonstrated positive qualities in all of the following areas. Academic achievement, citizenship and positive attitude, and participation in different extracurricular activities. I am very pleased to present this year's Peterson Spirit Award to an 80 student, Nathan George. Congratulations. I am also pleased to present this year's Peterson Spirit Award to an 8 West student, Avery Lipinski. Congratulations to both of you. The next award is the Jenny Malloy Achievement Award. The Jenny Malloy Achievement Award is presented to the eighth grade student that best exemplifies the determination and courage to reach seemingly unattainable goals by a student or athlete. We are happy to present the Jenny Malloy Achievement Award this year to Amber Cleon Grata. The final award that we are presenting tonight is the Matt Ives Strength of Character Award. The Matt Ives Strength of Character Award is presented to the 8th grade student who has facilitated social acceptance of all students through positive and friendly personality. This student exemplifies honesty, responsibility, and good sportsmanship while also achieving high academic standards. This award is unique in that the recipient of the award is selected by his or her own peers. We are pleased to present this year's Matt Ives Strength of Character Award to Kelly Robinson. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Our time at South didn't end like we had expected it to. We had supportive parents, teachers, and friends with us every step of the way. Congrats to the class of 2020. It's time to move into high school. Hello, class of 2020 graduates, parents, and family members. I'm excited to celebrate with you the end of your three-year journey here at South Middle School. I'm very proud of you and of your hard work, as well as all the effort that it took to reach this point in your educational career. I want to thank the South Middle School staff for their tireless work preparing these graduates for high school and beyond. And to all of the parents, thank you for your continued support and guidance as your child advanced through their middle school years. Students, we are currently living through some truly unique times. It's really easy to disappear into all of the negatives that have occurred in the last three months. Even though we cannot ignore all of the struggles and hardships the pandemic has brought, we need to stay positive more than ever and look on the bright side of things. Just like any other time in life, we need to adapt to the new challenges to this ever-changing world we live in. Today, I have four important words for you. Hope. Dream perseverance, and extraordinary. We must have hope, especially when you're not fully aware what lies ahead of you. Hope motivates us to be better. Hope inspires us to strive for our dreams. Keep dreaming because it's powerful. Your inspirations indicate to others that you have meaning, direction, and a purpose. It takes courage to follow your dreams. 
The cornerstone to achieving your dreams is perseverance. Anyone who has achieved their dreams will tell you that there are many challenges that get in your way. It is the hard work that allows you to overcome these challenges and meet your goals. Finally, graduates, be extraordinary. Be who you are. Think carefully about your decisions. Don't just follow everyone else. Create your own path in this world. Remember, it is the decisions that you make that define who you are. Graduates, inspire hope, have dreams, find your inner drive, and be yourself. I wish you all the best in high school and beyond. And remember, make it a great life or not, the choice is yours. Nicholas Albrecht. Dean Alitskoli. Joshua Arana. Grace Asper. Evelyn Amelia Bartels. Justin Biorgo. Mark Bonin. Zoe Glenna Brown. Madeline Byrne. Jimmy Camarada. Jesse Camarada. Danny Centracchio. Alex Sinclair. Magdalena Canova. Victoria Corwin. Katie Davenport.
Daniel Derengowski. Giorgio Di Falco. Madison Duddle. Christopher English. Bali Esquivel. Louisa Finch. Amelia Fink. Ari Ford. Alan Joseph Ford. Sydney Friedman. Nicholas Guy Nulin. Jake Geisler. Nathan George. Nikolai Georgiev. Danielle Gertis. David Gerardo. Roisin Grandberry. Adam Griesel. I'm Easton Grove. Samantha Houtsinger. Fabiola Hurtado. Julia Ingemansen. Addison Jones. Ava Page Kennedy. Ethan Kirby.
Ella Kalevsky. Kelly Kirka. Henry Bunted Kasumpa. Mia Lardizabo. Nico Lori. Sophia Lakato. Avery Lipinski. Cameron Lipton. Sydney Lupo. Kaden Marshenko. Ryan Mattis. Sarah McKenna. Marie Alexandra Montgomery. Maeve Margaret Morris. Lauren Morton. Juliana Midlinski. Lucy Nunez. Kyle O'Brien. Maeve Marie O'Grady. Eric Oswani. Dimitri Penagakos. Caroline Peters. John Peterson. Lucas Phillips. Emily Padeko. Rachel Ray.
Olivia Reed. Allison Nicole Reiser. Benjamin Riedel. Caitlin Rose Ruzak. Katie Rose Ryerson. Kayla Rose Sagendorf. Hayden Sander. Joel Santiago. Ashley Diana Saunders. Eric Schaub. Michael Shane. Nicole Marguerite Shane. Caitlin Schmidt. Mikołaj Skrobecki. Owen Smith. Jensen Starr. Jacob Steffen. Boyan Stoyanov. Gabriella Mary Rose Swanson. Alex Tabert. Olivia Tarchala. Kyle Tavares. Khalil Belgi. Elizabeth Tinsley. Madeline Tong. Connor Tops. Emily Marie Torak. Molly Rose Toussaint. Daniel Crescencio Trinidad.
Aiden Keith Walter. Ainsley Marie Walter. Nate Walter. Magnolia Winfield. Omar Zahdan. <laughs>